Hi, I'm Paul with GoMeasure 3D. Today we're going to be taking a look at a frequently asked question that we get here in our office, which is how to handle scanning parts that are next to or almost completely impossible to scan, such as highly reflective surfaces or uh, clear see-through objects, uh, things like glass bottles or uh, mirrored surfaces. And what I recommend to anyone that asks me is uh, to put a developer spray on that part. So our recommendation is the SpotCheck SKD-S2 developer spray. This is made by Magnaflux and is used in combination in industry with a dive penetrant to look for hairline fractures in parts. Uh, so because it's used very commonly in industry, this may be something that you already have lying around your shop and uh, keeps you from having to go through any paperwork for uh, acquiring this product. Uh, it's a very simple and easy thing to use. Uh, it is also a very thin film, so we don't have to worry about it adding too much of a layer to our parts, distorting the parts actual size uh, when we're using this for either reverse engineering or inspection on a part. And not only is it very thin, but it is also uh, very repeatable as far as the thickness that we do put on the part, which we'll go into in detail in a later video. So uh, the SpotCheck SKD-S2 developer spray can be easily purchased offline uh, and it's relatively inexpensive. Uh, I believe it's around 12 to $13 a can. Uh, so it's really easy to get a hold of and it's great for scanning parts that are uh, otherwise very difficult to scan. Such as highly reflective surfaces, clear surfaces, things like that. Uh, so one other question that we get in regards to this is, okay, well this is fine, but we have an aerosol spray uh, that is you know, somewhat flammable uh, and people get a little weird about the spray being spraying in their office. Uh, it kind of gets dust everywhere and things like that. Uh, so what we recommend using is this spray in conjunction with a spray booth like this Artograph spray booth here. Uh, it can easily be turned on. Uh, it is perfectly fine for use with flammable materials. Uh, so you don't have to worry about any uh, sparks being kicked off from the fan when the spray goes through the filtration system. So it is a very safe and easy to use way to spray your parts. You can simply spray them right inside of here with the fans turned on and the vacuum will pull the excess dust into the filters, which you can replace uh, once every uh, 30 to 40 sprays or something like that. So thank you very much for taking a look at this video. There'll be more videos in this series uh, in regards to using the spray. We'll go through some applications and uh, precision of the spray itself. Uh, but in the meantime, if you have any further questions, feel free to contact us here at GoMeasure3D. Thank you.